It's 2022 and the Huawei Google ban is still in full effect unfortunately and it's such a shame because Huawei keep bringing out more and more beautiful devices and guess what guys there is some hope here are five working methods in 2022 for getting Google Play services on your Huawei and Honor devices and they're super easy and in the last video I made like this a lot of people complained that I talk too much and I have no idea what you're talking about. And on that note, let me shout out the sponsor of this video, The Ridge. This is my new wallet. It's made from Damascus steel and you can get 45% off of one of these. And I won't bore you to death with all the details right now. So stick around to the end for the discount code and I'll tell you what makes this wallet special. Before we get into this disclaimer, like Morpheus said in the matrix, I can only show you the door. It's up to you to walk through it. And that's me saying, if you use any of these methods, you do so at your own risk. Okay, method number one. So this app is a great choice as you'll actually find it on Huawei's own Petal Search app. And the reason I like this one probably the most is because Huawei themselves have approved this as safe for use. To install it, simply search for GSpace in the Petal Search app and install it. And it really is that easy. You can now log in with your Google account and download apps within the G space. And essentially what this app does is create an environment on your phone and actually on Google's side, they will see your device as an Honor 8X, which was one of the last devices from Huawei that wasn't affected by the ban. So that means Google will allow it to download apps safely with the Play Protect certificate attached to them. And that phone, the Honor 8X was quite an impressive device. And I compared it to the iPhone XS Max at the London Comic Con quite a while ago. That video is pretty cool. You can check it out at the end of this one. Okay, method number two is our play. It's equally as easy to install as GSpace. You'll find it in the Petal Search as well. If you want, it will guide you to a Chinese website, which is the official website. But if you prefer, you could just follow the link to my website, whatgear.net and get it from there. And it is kind of a freemium app in the sense that you can pay to unlock other features and have less advertising and this kind of stuff. It's actually quite cheap. I converted the Chinese currency into English and yeah, it's not that expensive, but you might prefer G Space, but if G Space doesn't work, try R Play. Because once you're in there, you can log into your Google account. And again, you can download apps through the Play Store. So although the last two methods didn't say that they're virtual machines, essentially that's what they are. They are operating systems running within the operating system on your device. And this next one, VMOS Pro, is unashamedly a virtual machine operating system. The difference between this one and the previous two is this one is designed to run all of the time on top of your operating system so that you never need to actually go back to the main operating system at any time, as long as you're happy with VMOS Pro. And again, below this video is a link to my website where you can download the VMOS Pro APK. Just follow the instructions once you've installed it. And now you will have a Google Ghost in the shell of your phone. And it is more advanced than the previous two. So test it out, see if you like it. If you do, this could be the perfect solution for you. Anyway, let's move on to method number four. So this one is by far the best if you can get it to work. And it's also the most difficult one to get working. And that's because it does require EMUI 10 on your devices. However, there are some devices that don't need to be rolled back to EMUI 10. So it's worth trying it out before you do any rolling back of software. And around Christmas 2021, one of the guys on the XDA forum posted a tutorial on how to downgrade EMUI to EMUI 10. So I'll add a link to that tutorial below this video in case you need help doing that. And the great thing about Google Fire is it's a legit Android operating system. You're essentially replacing your operating system, whether that's EMUI, whatever, or Harmony OS with an actual Google Android platform that will allow you to log into all of your Google services as if you had it legit. And there's some really great videos out there on how to do that. They're quite long, so make sure you set some time aside to do it. But if you can get this one working, then it is the best one. But anyway, now it's time to shout out the sponsor of this video, The Ridge. So they make these awesome, 
premium wallets with a lifetime warranty. This one right here is made with Damascus steel. You can get titanium, burnt titanium, carbon fiber. There's RFID blocking tech in here, which means nobody can clone your bank cards through your wallet. And there's even a 45 day money back guarantee if you don't like it, which you probably never have to use because it is truly awesome. It can hold up to 12 cars whilst remaining thin and you can change the attachments on the back. I've got the money strap here so you can put cash there at the back of the wallet. And if you guys wanna pick one of these up, you can get 45% off if you use the code WhatGear at the checkout. Okay, method number five, I have a dedicated video all about that. It has a very good success ratio. So it's definitely worth giving it a shot if the other methods in this video didn't work for you. It's called Dual Space. Click on that link right now to watch that video. It's a quick one. You could probably skip the first couple of minutes if you wanted to. And guys, if you got any value out of this video at all, I would appreciate a thumbs up. That would make my day. A subscribe would make my month. And I really appreciate you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.